Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. If you guys checking this out from the first episode, thank you for still giving this Let's Play a chance. It's been a long time since i played this game and I'm really glad I'm doing it again. In fact, the last time I played the game was before I started Let's Play. Probably around 2004, 2005 even? That long a time. And I need to go to Dine's office, and I think that's just up here. So through this door. No, I think it's a different place. It looks like the armory. I don't think I need to go there yet. I think I have to keep going up. Is this it? I think it was up here. Captain Dine's orders. The exit to the village above ground has been locked. You said that you weren't allowed to bring the girl top signs until I had a chance to talk with her. You better go see him first. Okay. Try to remember where he is. Here, I guess. Bize and Ika reporting for duty, and we're about Fina like you requested. Hmm, you're a little late. I'll let it slide this time. Come on over, young lady. I am Dine, the captain of the Blue Rogues. There are a few questions I want to ask you. Will you answer them for me? Of, of course. I've been sailing for a very long time, but I've never come across anyone wearing clothes like yours. What country are you from, and why were you traveling alone out there? I feel like it's not my place to interrupt, so I'm going to sit quietly and listen. Captain Dine! You worry too much! Vina is just a normal girl! Silence, Ika! I am the captain here. It is my duty to protect the safety of my family and my crew. If this girl is a danger of any sort to you or any of my men, I cannot let her live. Huh? But... But... Fina, it is your turn to speak. Fina! I... I cannot say. Why is that? Is it because we are air pirates? Don't you trust us? Uh -uh. No! That has nothing to do with it! I thank you with all my heart for saving my life. But I cannot tell any living soul about the purpose of my quest, even if it means sacrificing my own life. I have no intention of endangering any of your lives. If you believe anything that I say, please believe this. Alright then. Huh. Looks like I lost this one. I understand your dilemma, and I can see in your eyes that you are true to your word. Although we are pirates, we also have a strong sense of honor. You do not need to divulge the details of your quest. Understand that you now have my trust. Be careful that you do not lose it. Thank you so much. Captain Dine, thank you kindly. I will not disappoint you. Vise, Ika, bring the girl. Fina, topside, and give her a tour of the village. Yes! Yeah. Now that's more like it! Way to go, Dad! You're the best! It's not Dad! It's Captain... I swear... How many times do I have to remind you? Uh, we're technically not on the ship. You're excused. Don't be late for dinner. 
I don't give you a set timer, I just say you're late every time. What's this? The bookshelf seems a little loose, and I can hear the sound of wind coming from behind it. Yeah, there's actually a secret passage over here. I feel like I need to do something with it. What? Oh, here we go. I had to hit it on a certain side. So that allows you to get down here. Do a little secret. Oh, well, might as well just head that way. Let's see what it's for. Ah! 150 gold! Well, that can allow me to, uh purchase some new things later. Don't know what I'm gonna get, though. Don't think I'm in any rush to get equipment unless there's a shop on the top side. I like how Don is just not noticing this. There's like a... I don't really care. This chair is comfortable. Captain Dine said the girl, I mean, Fina, is permitted to wander freely throughout the island. So I unlocked the door. Also, there are two treasure chests in this underground port containing emergency supplies somewhere. You might want to look for them. Yeah, I already grabbed one. So, whoa. -ho. Maybe I'll be back for something else? Guys, go on ahead. I have to stop by my house for a second. Why? What's wrong? I just want to freshen up. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. See you at your house. Okay. Alright, so there's a little path. There's some people. It's every air pirate's dream to be a swashbuckler, but you have to do more than sail to become one. You have to live as one, with both your actions and your words. Only true swashbucklers can become great leaders. I guess that has something to do with my rank. Okay. Oh, guys! You're back! Welcome home! We're all playing hide and seek with Pow. You should play with us too! Maybe I don't want to just yet. I wonder if I go up here. It just goes around. Okay. What's this? I wonder what this handkerchief is for. Oh! I think there's something underneath it. Oops. The handkerchief is there to cover this hole in Ika's room. <gasps> ah! Who's there? Take that, you creep! <laughs> Ow! My eye! Oh. Fies! What are you doing? Peeking into my room? You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe that you would spy on me like that. Get out of here. <sighs> but, but, I was just looking under this handkerchief. I didn't know. You probably just put it there to draw people's attention. Oh my god, Fies, you dink. You don't know the first thing about women, do you? Look, maybe you asked to be uh, spied on. So it's your fault. Shut the fuck up. Alright, what's up here then? Okay, there's a little island attached to this. That's neat, I guess. Ah, treasure chest. Magic droplet 2. Hey there, boys. It's nice to be home again. Huh? Sometimes we're out sailing for a long time. 
I start to miss this old place. Poor ship ain't bad either. But you really have to come back to the island now and then or your legs forget what solid ground is like. That is true. Alright, so let's see what else is over here. I could probably get some more treasure. Or I can even go up this ladder. Sure, what's up here then? That's gonna give you quite a view, huh? You gotta have serious faith in ladders if you're gonna climb up this high, let me tell ya. I get all lightheaded on the halfway up. Oh, a sacred crystal, there's three of them. Excellent. I'll probably need at least two in case I slip and fall. Yo, it just keeps on going. There's And there's no button to actually just climb down a ladder faster, like slide down it like in Dark Souls or something. Can't do it. So you have to go step by step. Have fun with that. sailing on a ship, I always get sick. Sometimes I even throw up. Does that mean I can't become a sailor? Sure you can be a sailor. I used to get air sick all the time when I was little. After a while, you just sort of stop throwing up. Your body gets used to it. Okay, I'll do my best. I'll throw up however many times it takes until I can become a sailor. You, you do that. I'm, I'm proud of you, you, you excellent puker, you. Please do not step on the garden. <laughs> Vegetables are an important source of nutrients for sailors. Everyone takes great care to make sure and grow them properly. Cool. It's always a good idea to keep things growing. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Might be some secrets lying around. Should I go back up? I guess I should go back up. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there anything else over here? I don't think so. Thought there'd be just a little drop over here, but there is not. Oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I just gotta talk to more of the people, or at least go inside a house. Hello. Everyone needs a place to go home to. Especially sailors. It's always good to have a place to rest their tired wings, you know. And take a sip of water there. When you know that you have someone to go home to and a warm bed waiting for you, it gives a person a little extra strength. I suppose. I suppose what? You know, you want to go sailing too? No? Okay. It's full of fresh water. I wonder who left it here. I guess whoever lives here. The jar is filled with pickled turnips. Every time I smell turnips, I always think of sailing. That's all we ever eat out there. Uh, I'm not a big fan of turnips. At all. <laughs> Even if they were pickled. Doesn't look like there's much else over here. I've already been to that house. What's this? Huh? A secret cave?
Moonberry. They'd say that there was like two treasures around here. And I already grabbed the one earlier that just had money. This must be the other one. Chest behind the garden. There, I'm stepping away from the Vegeta Bulls. I've grabbed three Sacri Crystals. Excellent. Hello. We're able to live the way we do, thanks to the blessed moons. The moons provide us with moonstones that keep our ships flying and provide us with fuel for fires to keep ourselves warm. We truly are blessed. Well, I guess I am. I got at least two of them in my possession. Hello. Hey there, boys! Would you like me to give you a few pointers on hand-to-hand -hand combat? Uh, nah, it's okay. It's just a tutorial. Heh <laughs> sure. I suppose the best way to learn is to get into a real battle situation anyway. Well, I hope you actually do know what you're doing. To a degree, yeah. If you can learn to use your magic and super moves skillfully, your fights will become a whole lot easier. I'll teach you the basics on how to use these if you want. Nah. I've used some of them. Heh, <laughs> alright then. Just remember... It never hurts to ask a question. If you can't figure something out, just come back here, okay? Uh, I don't want to bore people here with a tutorial. Guys! Go away! I'm busy right now! Can't you leave me alone for just one second? No, I can't. Well, I guess I'll save. This looks like my house. Cool. Home. Yeah. Oh, welcome back, Vice. So, you're Fina. It's very nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. I, I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, don't be silly. It's been a long time since we've had guests. Well, I have to finish cooking dinner. Go outside and have some fun. I'll call you when it's ready. Hey, guys! Sorry I kept you waiting. I was just fixing my hair. Hey, the sunset outside is beautiful. Why don't we go outside and check it out? Well, we still have some time before dinner. Why not? Okay, great! Come on! We can get a great view from uh, up top on Lookout Island! Lookout Island, I bet you, is that huge ladder, right? We gotta do that again. Oh. I'm cooking dinner right now, so perhaps you could go for a walk or something. Okay, I'll go. Why does it keep flashing like that? Alright, let's go. This must be the lookout island then. I guess I should have came up here later, and I would have gotten the, gotten whatever scene happens, and then the chest. It is a nice view. Hey, 
It's so beautiful! I love it up here. It's so peaceful. I come up here to relax and watch the sunsets. When I'm up here, I have to wonder what lies beyond the sky. Beyond the sunset. Beyond... the sky? Some say there are monsters. Others say there's a maelstrom that either blows ships away or pulls them in. And they're never seen again. And there are others that just say it's... impossible. I want to know what's out there. Besides, I don't like giving up on anything without giving it my best shot. Someday, I will be the captain of my own ship. I'll go beyond that sunset, and I'll see what's out there. Wow! I bet if you could go beyond the sunset, the sky would look even more beautiful! Huh? Hey! That was a moonstone! A moonstone? It landed on that island over there! I think that's Shrine Island. It's been a long time since we've seen a moonstone fall. I don't understand. That was a moonstone? That's right! Athena, you've heard of moonstones before, right? They're pieces of rock that fall from the moons. They usually crash land on the islands. They're a really powerful source of energy, too. We use them for all sorts of things. They power our airships, and we can also forge weapons out of them. Oh yes, I know of moonstones. But it's my first time seeing a moonstone actually fall from the sky. Wise, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we should try to recover the Moonstone. Let's go first thing, thing tomorrow. Bye's! Aika! Fina! Oh, Din Din. Dinner is ready! Come on down! Let's go, Fina. You're gonna eat with us, right? We're so lucky. I love your mom's cooking. Fina! Let's go eat while it's still hot. Yes. Thank you for your gracious offer. Guess whatever we had for dinner really knocked us out, huh? Fies! Fies! Good morning! We're going to Shrine Island today, right? Yeah, I'll be right down. Give me a second. Oops, I left my papers all over the place. I'm surprised Mom didn't get out of my case about the mess that I left. Well, I was only studying about the stars. She should be happy that I'm not just sitting around doing nothing, I suppose. No, I climbed down the ladder! Oh my god. Climb down the ladder, thank you. Uh. Bye's! If you're going to Shrine Island, I want you to take this with you. I've included enough for both you and Ika. But only one each. Sacris crystals. So they're definitely stronger than Sacri crystals. If you need to take a break, don't be afraid to come back home and rest up. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. Thank you so much for everything you've done. First you rescue me, 
and then you let me stay in your home. I'm eternally grateful. I suppose you'll be leaving now to retrieve... Retrieve spelled wrong. That moonstone that fell yesterday. Please do be careful. Good luck. Lies. Here. Take this. It's your share from the loot from yesterday's raid. A purple moonstone. The moonstone's been processed already. So you should be able to use it on your weapons. Now you'll be able to change the color of your weapon to purple. And give it the color power of ice in battle. I see. Thanks, Dad. I'll use it carefully. One more thing. When you want to fight, you will be awarded magic experience in the color of magic that you have equipped on your weapon. When you accumulate a certain amount of magic experience, you will learn a new spell. So if there is a spell that you want to learn, by changing the color of your weapon to match whatever type of magic you want to learn, you can learn it much faster. You can easily change the color of your weapon by using the equip command or by pressing the Y button during battles. Make good use of it. Okay. Good morning, Fina. Did you sleep well? Yes. Thank you. Fina, we'll be heading over to Shrine Island to get that moonstone in a few minutes. You can stay here and relax at my place if you want. That will be fine. Thank you. Alright, Fies. Let's get going. The boat is on the upper dock and it's ready to go. Hmm. Maybe I should go back down and actually check what weapons I could have bought earlier. I think you have to go over this way, I think. Actually, you just go for the southwest and then you work your way down. Okay. I know I could have done that earlier, but I was like, eh, do I really need to? And it seems I might as well just do it now. Maybe there's some good stuff I can buy. Who knows, maybe what I get over here is just garbage and I don't need it. Hello. Hey, 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 come right in. This is a weapon and armor shop. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to charge you even if you're a fellow air pirate. I had to go to a lot of trouble to get my stock. Fine. What do you got? Well, I should get the Pirate Cutlass. Uh, this, I don't think it really matters what I put on it. Leather Crescent, I'll get that for Ica. Get some armor too. And get a maraca shell and a meditation ring. You can only get enough for one piece of armor, so I guess I'll just go for the uniform. Do I want the light robe though? I mean, this offers some magic defense too, even if it is less. But I can only buy one, so guess what? You're getting it. Most weapons are forged out of moonstones. Well, it's not the only thing used. It's one of the main materials. Since weapons are made of moonstones, they can be affected by other moonstones if used properly. Learn all the details, ask in the training center that's located above for- Yeah, I, I know. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking my money. I guess. You know, I should have sold the uh, older weapons now that I think about it, and I could have bought the other piece of armor too. You know, I, I think we'll do without. Because who knows, I might find something in uh, Shrine Island. Doubtful, but if I ever need to come back, I probably could. With more money. I think it's time we gotta move on. Calming music here has just done really well. 
I don't know if it's done better on the Dreamcast or on the GameCube. Because again, I haven't played both versions. Hey boys, are you going to Shrine Island to pick up Moonstones? To get to Shrine Island, you need to sail straight north of here. Be careful, there are all sorts of monsters out there. One more thing, not only are there Moonstones in this world, there are things called Moonberries. They contain a lot of power. By eating some, you'll actually get stronger. You go to yeah, 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 tutorials, I know. It says north of here. It actually wasn't that far from here, was it? Just going this way makes it look farther than it actually is. There it is, right there. Uh-oh, what the hell are we fighting now? Oh, hold on, there's a new enemy. It's called a Looper. And there's also a Gasling. Looper looks like it's silver, and Gasling is green. Gotcha. Hold on, is it only green? Can I use purple to do more damage? Oh, purple actually does really well. As does green. That was fun. But I think the spells for purple are not that great. Oh, sweet, level five. All right, there's the island. Boys! Over there! Look at the size of that hole! That's what she said. The moonstone must have caused that. It must be huge. Ika, look! Water is flowing into the shrine. In the old world, this island was a sacred place. These ruins used to be some sort of temple. Nobody's been here for generations. Yeah! I've heard stories about this place too. I've heard that there are monsters crawling around inside. But moonstones that big are rare. We gotta go in and get it. You know I can't pass up a treasure hunt. Besides, how bad can it possibly be? You're right. We're going treasure hunting! I don't know if you can get in a fight outside the tower, or do you have to wait till you go in? But I imagine the enemies here are pretty much on par with what we already battled. I remember this dungeon being quite simple, considering it's technically your first one. This is just great. The place is flooded. Ika, look! The moonstone is at the bottom! Wow! It's so bright! That moonstone must be huge! So, Vice, how do you plan on getting it out of, the, out of there? The water is getting pretty deep. Find a way to drain the water. Let's try and drain the water from this place. That way we can just carry the moonstone out of here. Well, considering that I can't swim, I like that plan better. There's still one problem. How are we supposed to drain all this water anyway? Hey, boys! Look over there! There's a door over there! Maybe we can find a way to open it. We could drain the water out of this place. 
might be right. We'll use the doors as drains. All right, let's go. I also forgot that I got like uh, some moon berries. So I'm gonna start using them. Oh, I only got one. Why did I think I had more than one? I do not. Yeah, I only have the one, okay. Oh, I'll take the camera please and thank you. Alright, what are we fighting here? Two of these enemies we already fought before, so that's just kind of boring, isn't it? But we're pretty strong, so we should be able to mess them up easily. Missed! Come on, I gotta get it together. I guess you can go after blue, can you? Oh yeah, you did just fine. Please don't miss- Oh my god. Oh my god, it ran off! What a coward! Jeez, if I had a redhead going at me like that, I wouldn't run. Trust me, I would know. Alright, so we just gotta go through that door to advance. Uh, I think what I'll do, like after this fight, we'll just call it an episode. And then the next part will continue on through this cave. But I guess we might as well just finish this first. Yeah. You missed two? I mean, you only have one eye. So I can't be too mad at you about it. Oh. I remember lots of bubbles in your face. Oh god, it's sleeping bubbles. The worst kind of bubbles. That wasn't so bad. You actually blocked that attack and I still fucked him up. Amazing. Alright, let's stop it here, and in the next part we'll continue on through Shrine Island. See everyone, thanks for watching.